what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel as you can see i have an axle here in front of me or a drive shaft uh whatever you uh, might call it um this is a front wheel drive axle and i have it here because i want to show you what exactly um, causes a certain vibration if you've ever been driving down a road and on acceleration you're feeling a vibration in the steering wheel in particular uh then uh maybe this will uh help you pinpoint that situation so this is not while at cruising at around 60 65 where you might have a balancing issue this is going to be on either throttle input uh, whether it's moderate or aggressive and you're going to have from a mild to severe steering wheel shake and um, this is pretty common on our, our 03 to maybe uh, 12 accords or so uh, this one actually came out of a 12 uh, crv so a couple different cars that affects it also does uh, sometimes odysseys and uh, we've seen you know all sorts of cars but in particular those seem to be the ones that um these axles are, are more problematic so i went ahead and uh, took this apart already just because when you get this and um there's a it makes a mess it's full of grease and stuff uh, normally you would probably replace the whole axle um you can replace just the inner joint but sometimes that's pretty costly and for the price of axles nowadays, um, you know, you might as well just probably, depending on your situation, get an aftermarket one. But if you wanted to rebuild a Honda one or replace the Honda shaft itself, you could. Um, but, uh, you know, just for educational purposes, I, I did take this apart and I uh, found the problem and I cleaned it out so it could just be easier for today. All right, guys. So here I have it all apart, typically. This would be all filled with grease in there and inside of the boot right in here. You can still see some of that brownish tannish grease along with some of the grease here on the bearings. Um, you're gonna make sure you don't um, flip flop these. These only fit one way, but sometimes they do fit multiple ways. Um, but if you were to get the inner joint, uh, Honda does sell separate, uh, sell this separately. You can do it, but sometimes it's not really uh, cost efficient. Um, and you just would replace the whole axle or even maybe do like a aftermarket axle um, if that were an option and it's a, like an older vehicle and whatnot. But anyways, um, so what you're gonna be looking for is you're gonna take this out and you're gonna clean this real well like I did or as, as best as possible because this stuff gets real greasy and real, you know, messy. Um, and you're gonna take and look in here. So here we have the beginning of an issue right in there. And then you're gonna keep looking, keep looking. Here we have another problem starting to happen right in there. You can tell right over there, that's a good shot. But this is what you're ultimately looking for. And depending on the severity, um, you're gonna get either one of these or multiple. You can see it's kind of pitted right in there. And that's uh, um, what you're looking for. So at this point, like I said before, you would either be replacing the inner joint set or a whole Honda axle or, you know, maybe an aftermarket one. Uh, I don't recommend you getting used because obviously um, these are, you know, they're pretty common to fail, uh, especially on some particular models. Uh, so chances are if you get a used one, if it's not the same, it's, it's you know, real close to being the same at that point. So uh, if you guys, once again, are, are having a vibration uh, on steady acceleration and it progressively gets worse, the harsher or the harder you accelerate, um, in particular in a steering wheel, and then the minute you let off the gas, it stops, this is your issue. Somewhere, somehow, one of your axles or maybe even both sides um, are worn out and you need to replace them. Um, there's no um, rhyme or reason to which one goes bad. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two. Uh, so you really need to take them apart um, to really diagnose them. If you want to do that, if you're maybe doing used ones, you say, you know, what the heck with it? And let me just do both at that point. Um, but if you want to find out which one was causing the issue or if it was both, you're going to have to take them apart just like I did. And, um, you know, diagnose it that way. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something. Hopefully this helps somebody out there having the same, uh, same exact issue. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for videos just like this one.